What's up, guys? Welcome to the video today. We are going to be going over uh chart again. This is going to be the midweek update for Monday. And um, right now, nothing much has changed ever since, especially with yesterday and today's Powell reaction. But we're just going to jump straight into it. We got some few setups to be watching for the rest of this week. First thing is Spy QQQ, and then we will go over the rest. Right now, SPY is still inside this triangle. Nothing much has changed. We're still around this SMA area, 100, 200. Um, one thing to keep in mind right now is that we have we have a little bit of an update on update on the SMAs. We do have the 100 crossing crossing the 200, which can be good because this will be pushing. This will be the trend um, support if it's strong enough, and SPY does end up holding that um, SMA support as long as it goes and right now it's looking good so far um we are holding as my 50 currently we do have to get back over 400 so that we can keep building this triangle otherwise if we just keep leaning lower 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 eventually we will break this trend line right here and start selling off selling off lower and lower back down to around this 388 area but currently i wouldn't stress too much we still have um, tomorrow, Thursday, and then Friday to uh, get back over this 400, and then we can attempt to get higher into 404 again, which is a strong supply zone right now. As you can see, we attempted breaking it uh, three times right here. One time, two times, three times right here. The third time failed, and the third time is where we sold off, and today was where we uh, had a little bit of a relief bounce right here. Hopefully, tomorrow, bounce back over. That 400, we try for 404 again, and then you will start getting towards 408 to 410. If not, SMA 50 loses, we will get lower down to around 393 through 393 through 95 area around this trend line right here, and also where the SMAs are. Um, right now, SPY does have a really, really choppy action, and it's been tough to trade lately. Um, right now, what like I said, just avoid it. As much as you can, just keep watching it. It's not gonna um, it's not gonna move until we break this triangle right here. That's all. Next one is QQQ. Um, uh, nothing much right here. We're still building building a little wedge right here, or uh, broadening wedge right here. Um, two ninety six is important to hold. If not, you will start to drop lower. Feel a little tiny gap right here on daily. From this support all the way down to here, which will be 294.87 to 293.61, and possibly even drop lower down towards 290 to retest the SMAs, which is where the golden crossing starts. If that happens, right now we do have a little bit of a little bit of an update on the SMAs, which is where we had the 50 just about to cross the 200 which is going to be considered golden crossing if we do end up crossing that and confirming it. Uh, right now, I would say two or three more days and we will find out the answer, which is why I believe that we will see a bigger move towards the end of this week, especially tomorrow and Friday. Um, yeah, so QQQ, nothing much different. Um, I would wait until we break this trend line, upper trend line right here over 300 areas or even better 302 30 and then that's where we will get the real breakout and start pushing higher towards 308 to 310 um next up is meta or facebook this one did have a nice pop uh the last couple of days towards that 191 uh resistance which i have been talking about today nothing much uh changed right here we have a little bit of a pullback especially from this double double top right here um Today, closed green. I really don't see an update on this one yet. Um, I would wait until we clear 191 for calls and puts. I would do call or I would do puts under 177 for a move towards this little tiny gap right here, which will be around 175 and then 171 next. Um, Apple, Amazon. I really don't see much in this one, but Apple does have a very nice inside bar candle right here which we'll see a bigger candle ahead can be tomorrow and or Friday. Um, I'm betting that it will be up 
just because of how we had um, three days of gaps and one day of pullback and then an inside day. So exhaustation candle right here, we may see it pop tomorrow to attempt to break out over this trend line, which we failed to break uh, two days ago on Monday. So let's see if Apple can break this. If this does end up breaking that trend line, we will for sure be pushing higher towards this 15750 resistance. If not, and we lose that 151 support, we will start dropping back towards this 140, upper 140s area. And you will see some demand zone around this area right here. Um, Right now, I'm not touching Apple. I haven't touched this name in a couple of weeks. I really don't see much going on with this name. Uh, Amazon, <clears throat> nothing much going on. It's getting pretty, uh, pretty choppy in this range right here. I would say if you want to be swinging or touching this name or wait for, wait for a breakout, I would say under 89 or above 97 first for long swings, and then you'll be safer. Right now, it's just too choppy. You can see how the action is right here between the red candles and the green candles are just very whipsaw action right here. So best to avoid it until we clear either an 89 or 97. Microsoft and Google, I really don't have much to say about this, but chips right now is moving. Um, AMD and NVIDIA are looking good currently. I'm not sure what's up with them lately, but they are doing well. Um, AMD is breaking out currently above this um, broad and wedge pattern. I did mention to watch this for a breakout higher above this, and currently that's what we are doing. This is up 4% today. So over 83.35 is breakout breakout right there this is the first day of the breakout we don't have much volume but this is this is pretty tempting especially in the weaker market um this can get moving higher above this um towards this top very top of the supply zone around 89 area and if we do end up breaking that we will start pushing towards 9120 and that will be awesome for amd right now i am bullish on this one just because of how it looks right now um, we also have 50 SMA almost crossing the 200. So we are just pretty much starting from a very, very lows on AMD. We haven't been this low in a very long time. And now that we are seeing the 50 crossing the 200, pretty much almost at the very lows right here, 55 and 85. And we do have a lot of room upside. AMD used to be a $160 stock. So we are very oversold on this stock. Um, so the 50 crossing 200 is pretty tempting, I would say. And it's not a bad idea to go long on AMD. I'm currently long on AMD. So uh, of course I have something to back up my statements. And the reason why I am long on AMD is because of this beautiful setup right here. Um, great company. Um, great chart right now, especially very oversold. Um, it was three times lower than the all time highs, so that's a um, good entry right there. If you enter anywhere in this 55 to 70 area, uh, yeah. So, if AMD does clear 91, we will be setting up for a move towards 120, and uh, I'm not gonna try to, um, make that uh, prediction right now we just have to focus on clearing these um levels right here in this area <clears throat> so keep an eye on it calls above if you are not in it currently if you're not in it currently i would wait until we clear i would say stay out of it for now if you're not even in it if you're not in it yet and we have a pullback i would say wait for a next breakout setup which can be next week or two weeks away so uh, keep an eye on this 50 SMA and the 200 SMA. This will be the golden cross and setup right here in the next couple of days or maybe even next week, which will be a big move for AMD in, in, the, in the next couple of months. Um, This will be a long-term move right there for AMD. NVIDIA. This one's breaking out as well. Something's going on with chips right now. Uh, nice breakout. Uh, nice, nice pop over the trend line right here on the short term, you can see. And this one hasn't been strongest in the past week or so out of any um, ticker in this watch list. 
And uh, right now we are breaking our key T39 resistance, which is pretty much breaking out a uh, breakout setup towards 253 and 259. It's very possible that, that that can happen before we see any longer or bigger pullback. I did post about this earlier today. Um, chip showing strength today. I believe this wants to see the upper 250s first before any sign of a bigger pullback. Each sell-off followed up with a bullish engulfing a breakout higher or a higher high. Next up after 240 is 253. And right now, I do have calls on this one just because of how it looks right now with the setup. Looks great. Um, some more room upside before we see a pullback. Um, yeah, so be careful. This one, this one's a little this one's a little overextended, but it does have a nice setup, especially with the straight lately in the market. Um Tesla, last one, and we'll call a video. So this one has been pretty weak lately, and we are pretty much back right on the demand zone, which is a bullish zone. And we do have a SMA right here in SMA 50. There's a very, very, I would say 50-50 chance that Tesla would um, come lower right here around mid, mid 170s first before we um, have a reversal back up. Right now, it's, it's still in a choppy range. I'm not going to flip bearish at all. Uh, this is just a slow, slow uh, pullback on Tesla before we make any big movements. Uh, we do have the 50 SMA crossing the 100 soon, and I would say the next next two months, I would say next month or two, we do have the 200 going lower and lower and lower slowly, and then the 50 will catch up. That's when the golden crossing will start. Um, yeah, so. Tesla right now, I wouldn't touch this right now just because of how it looks right now. We don't have any confirmation in this one. It's 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 um it's in its own world right now. Uh, best to play chips right now, especially with the straight that it has lately. Nvidia and AMD are doing well, so why not play with it while the market's chopping up? Um, that's all we have for a midweek update. Nothing much going on, but this is this is a good video too. I'm preparing you guys and myself to um to um sync with the market and especially for thursday and friday which i believe will be bigger moves than the rest of this week um i'll see you guys on friday for a video update or maybe on uh, monday um we'll see how friday goes if not we'll do monday um i'll see you guys tomorrow let's make some money have a great night take care